Hey guys, we'll be back to this new video tutorial on video basics. Uh, in this video tutorial, actually, I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple login form. A uh, form that's going to be uh, just like this one here that I've actually often to make. Now, in this form here, if a user just come in and try to log in without giving the username, he cannot actually log in actually without the correct username and the password combination. So, let me try to give you one here. The password and the username is Nimbo. And then the password is for one two three. So if actually try to log in, to generate for you the second form, which is this one here. So we just try to make one like this, guys, very shortly. So let us just try to work on that. And those has exit button where actually when you for someone the user happen to click here, uh, the form just tend to disappear. So let me just generate one uh, without wasting time. So I'm just going to call it login form. Let me just call it login form and then that's it. So this is it. I'm just going to drag the form to the size actually may you need it to be. Uh, this is actually our form so far. Let us just work on the adding on the label. Yeah, let us just add the label. Uh, let us just add on the label and then. So, so this is it. Let me see. This is our label. Let us just put this actually. Uh, simple. A login a form you just call simple login form and increase the font also so I'm just gonna make the bold and also try to increase this one to example like 20 so that looks like that let us also just change that font the four color the I'm going to change that for color to blue. And let us change this background color from control uh, to kind of white. Sorry. Back to control. Then I happen to change this uh, from control here to something like butterfly. Button kind of button highlight. Something like that. Then I also let me try to put there one as a panel to start give some differential on that program. Do I just give some good colors to my program here? That's what actually I'm trying to do here, guys. And let us just try to change this, uh, the background color of this one to blue. Wow, to some, give some decoration my program. I also need like to, to change this form, the, the start position, let it be center screen. So change that one to center screen. So that by the time when we try to run this project so far, uh, you can see actually that is on the center of the screen. So far we are good to go. So guys, let us just go and add on the other stuffs uh, very fast. I'm going to actually also use here one known as the group box to hold my username and the password combination. So I'm just going to add it in this form. Uh, let us have it like that and let us change this the four color to kind of kind of blue if possible like that kind of blue kind of blue that's great cool and let us change this back the the color inside it the text color let us turn it to button and then let us also increase that font size to let us change it to something on bold and 16. That's good. And let us just call it uh, what known as uh, login. Just call login. Uh, 
four. I like that. Let us just now try to add the label. We shall need two labels. The username. And I also need the one for password. Or something like that. So this is going to be for username. And then this one is going to be for password. Just share that one for password. Password. Something like that. So we shall also need to let us just now also share this kind of text to let us share that text to something like bold. Then let us just now go and work on the on the button so far. So we shall need two buttons, one is for username. Actually, the one for exit, sorry. And then the other one button is going to be for, uh, for login. So let me just change the colors of these buttons to something else. Uh, change the size first. It's okay. Let us just change the color. And the background color of these buttons, let us just make it uh, something like something like green that's great then let me just change this one individually change that one to kind of blue red and remove every border from the project so far and I put some animation to it whenever someone tends to click turns to kind of purple and when the mouse moves out of it turns to kind of all of it, something like that, and then since I removed the board, let me also change this start of flat so that looks cool. The same applies to here, just change this one also to something else. And this four also, I change it to a kind of blue, light blue, green mean, and then I turn this one to dark blue, something like that. Then the standard also, I'm gonna make it flat. So far guys, the stuff is done, let me just try to summarize the text box there. The first text box is going to be for the username. And I'm just going to drag this, the second text box is going to be for password. So this what so far is going to be, actually guys, let I just want to change this to the text so far that actually it happens to be good. Well, I'm just going to drag and actually time to change the format on which how uh, it's giving us. That's good. So far, when you try to see so far at the moment, you try to write one. Now, we need now to do some changes on the program. The password should be really password, so let us turn that one. Click on the text for the password, text box 2. Where you see the word here called password share. Give any format of the, how do you want it to be displayed? So I've given there like multiplication sign, one known as asterisk on it. So when I happen to compile here again and I try to run the program, if the username is OSP and then the password is maybe OSP, guys, we can't see anything so far. That's so far great. So that's so far good. But again, now we have to put somewhat on us a hoover effect on our reload a button for exit and then the login. Let us work on that very first. So let me just change this one to exit. This one, let us just change it to what known as login. Something like that. Now, let us also put the if effect on all of them. So, I'm just going to copy all of them. And I go to the property down where they say and the cursor. Hope you can see somewhere around here the cursor. Yeah, down. Turn it to what known as hand. So that so far is great. The interface for the our home page is done. So so far, guys, that's great. If you happen to click here, it's good and password is also fine. But when you come in here, I think you can see hand. So guys, that's so far great. Let us now just come and add us add the second form into our project. 
So to add the second form, please just come here with the same project. Click on project and add Windows form. That's all. And just come and say next. And that's great. Drag this form to the size you'd like it to be. I'm just going to position it center screen. Just center screen. And you can also change this font color if you want. Something else if you like the color you like. I'm just changing it to simple color blue. Kind of blue like that. If you happen to run at the moment, we can't log in and can't do anyone. So since my second form is done, guys, let us go back to our first form. Double click on the exit and add the following codes. I'm just going to add one as me dot close. So that and that's enough for the second form for our, actually the closing button. So when you run the program right now at the moment, when you happen to just click on the exit, guys trust me, the exit button now is working. I think you guys can see. Happen to click on the exit. Yeah, that's so far great. Let us now just come and work on the uh, the username and the password. So if you try to look at the username, it's text box one. Let us just change it to username. So I'm just going to call it text user. And then the one for password, let us just call text txt pass. Just like that, so that by the time when you happen to click on the username, we see text user and then the password text pass. So double click on login and add the following conditions. So if, if text, if text user, sorry. Let us just try to add it here. If text a user dot text, if text user dot text is equal to having what known as OSP and text pass dot text uh, is equal to OSP one two three. Close the condition. Close the condition, and then generate. Then, so what do we like when the text equals that and that? I would like you to open from this second form, which is form two. I don't show, and that's what actually I would like at the moment. So this is it at the moment. So when the username is equal to OSP, and the password equals to OSP one two. One, two, three. If you click there, the second form should pop up. Now, I would like at the moment here, uh, I would like whereby, what if the username is not true and the password is not true? What should it give us? The username is not true and the password is not true. It displays for us nothing. So, guys, let us go and work on that partition very fast, then we end the video. So, this is going to be else statement. So, else, I just generate else and I say, Else, let it display for us a message. Message. Actually, it's going to be message dot show. Message dot show. Else, let it give us a message. Uh, telling us that username. Uh, username. Password combination. Is incorrect is incorrect so let's generate for us something like that so this is what going to happen guys uh, when you happen now to come in and give a wrong username and then wrong password combination you click here to have to tell us username or password combination is incorrect and if you happen now to give the correct one username and then he actually with the correct password it has to give us that that's to take us to the second form. So guys, please thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys are going to